It's the sunny day of September 20th, 2021. Wake up on this morning with one goal, to see trains. So after school, we went to catch some trains. After seeing a train exiting the Richmond siding, I decided to head to Missouri City, my go-to rail fanning spot. That train in question was the KCS LRNRN-20, a local coming out of Kendleton Yard in Kendleton, Texas, going to PTRA most of the time to drop off oil cars, and then goes north up onto the Beaumont subdivision, out to Beaumont, and to the KCS yard out there. But, then it goes back to Kendleton. And because it's a local, that is why it begins with RN and ends with RN. RN for Rosenberg. So, I saw a very amazing sight when that train rounded the curve at Missouri City that I never thought I would see again. KCS 2846 was leading the train, still in its gray ghost paint scheme, along with 2023, also still in its gray ghost paint scheme. And both are GP40s, something I never thought I would see again because of what has been happening recently to the gray ghosts. They have been getting repainted and fast, and I don't like it. Like I said earlier, this train normally goes to PTRA via the Harrisburg subdivision. But today, it did not go the Harrisburg subdivision, but instead it went the Houston subdivision, up to Tower 26 and out to Beaumont. I am unsure if they were going to go to PTRA when they were coming west or if they didn't have anything to give to PTRA. I'm not sure, but I didn't really care because of that Grey Ghost duo. After that Grey Ghost duo, I noticed another train coming about 15 minutes behind it. So we stood at Missouri City. I decided to check the Rosenberg rail cam to see what it was. And it was a KCS SD78 leading, not particularly rare, but it was the horn that, that was on it that was rare. A Nathan K3LP. I am not sure what this is, but it sounds like an RS3L and an RS5T mixed together. It's a three chime horn, but to me it sounds like an RS5T. To be honest, it kind of sounds the same to me. But anyway, 
I am not sure if this is a knockoff version or not to the RS3L or RS5T, but it was definitely worth the wait. And I loved that horn and the horn action that the engineer gave us. The train that it was beating was the Q QRKO. A crude oil train coming out of Mexico, empty, going to Corf, Texas, to be loaded and then sent back to Mexico. After this, my grandmother and I ran out to do some personal things, but as we were heading home, I noticed a BNSF Dash 9 duo passing Rosenberg. I thought to myself, how could this day get any better? And you may be thinking there's going to be a twist, but uh, that's, that was the last train that we saw. So here is a BNSF grain train led by a Dash 9 duo passing me at Control Point, Missouri City. With, with green going to PTRA, and I am unsure, but probably for export.
So, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.